What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, tonight we're going to start working on the Comanche. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I have in store for the Comanche is the 241J. This is a Rubicon transfer case out of a TJ. My plan is to take out the 231 that is in the Comanche right now and replace it with this transfer case here. Uh, the Rubicon transfer cases, they obviously have the four to one crawl ratio. And that's what I really need with this Jeep. And the Cherokee looks really weird in the middle bay in my shop for some reason. I'm so used to it being this big dark blob in the second bay over here. So here is the 231 that is currently in the Comanche. Like I said, it's got the slip yoke eliminator, got the super dirty drive shafts. Probably should have pressure wash this before I started but so I'm gonna start by taking off the rear drive shaft at the slip yoke eliminator I'm using a half inch socket I'll also be taking off the front drive shaft and right here at the yoke on the axle it is also a half inch I'll also be taking off the bolts on the front of the drive shaft, which are 7 sixteenths. Now what I'm going to do is start disconnecting things such as the electronics. And then I do have the cable shifter. I'm going to be disconnecting that. And then I'm going to start working on the bolts on the front of the transfer case to get this thing out of here. Because I'm taking this jack stand and i'm going to be pushing up on the transmission that way i can drop down this cross member that way i can drop down everything just a little bit that way i can get my hands in around the um, transfer case and the transmission to take off the 916 bolts that hold all the way around So we got the cross member out of the way. I've got it lowered down. I do have it uh, transfer case supported with the transmission jack right here. I've got all the bolts off the 9 16th bolts on the transfer case. So let's see if we can get this thing out without losing any toes. So just doing an inspection, uh, you can see there was obviously some leaking right here and I'm, it was this seal, the output shaft seal on the AX-15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be replacing it with a cheap old new output shaft seal before I put the Rubicon transfer case on. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to first clean all this stuff up because I don't want to put a new seal in, then start cleaning and risk you know running my razor blade into it or something like that. So I got this pretty much cleaned up and now I'll be taking the seal out. Yeah. So when I get the new seal in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of grease right here, a little bit of oil right here. That way it seats in there very nicely. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take a giant socket. This is a one and seven eighths. Just give it a couple of love taps. The studs on 
this 231 are honestly in better condition than the ones that I have. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking a couple of these studs off of this 231 and putting on the Rubicon transfer case. But I'll show you a little cool little trick. Instead of putting vice grips on the stud and just working them around and tearing the threads up, what you can do is run the 9 nut about halfway on <clears throat> and then take another one and put on here and then tighten them against each other comes right out putting the gasket on before I put the transfer case on. So this actually doesn't have a gasket that goes in between it. I tried to look on Next we will be putting the Rubicon transfer case in. I've got my dad here helping me. That way he can call 911 whenever it falls on me. My plan is to still use this cable shifter even though it doesn't look like it's going to jive very well. Maybe if I can aim this up. So the other shifter, or the other transfer case, it was down here. This one's up here. So I may have to modify this bracket to work. I did take off the, the front flange here, the joint, and, uh, oh gosh. And so I could get to the bolt for the shifter mechanism. So this is the factory Rubicon one. I'm going to take the one off my 231 and be putting on here. We're going to try that out. So whenever I tried to put this back, the transmission mount, uh, I noticed that this bottom piece right here was hidden right here and it didn't want to sit flush. So instead of making a full blown custom cross member like I want to, I'm just gonna notch this right here to accommodate for this section right here. That way it sits flush until I can figure out exactly what I want to do for a cross member in the future. What I'm gonna do is I've marked right here where I'm just gonna notch this out so the transfer case can sit flush. Now that I have the transmission mount mounted to the transmission, I'm gonna to try to get the cross member back in. All right, so I got the, the linkage uh, lined up with the shifter and it is not happy. So, like I said before, on the 231, you know, this, this was down, down here. And it won't go, but you get the idea. So, you know, you can see the direction that this wants to go. So what I'm gonna do is take this bracket off, 
You see how it's got that angle? Well, we're gonna fix that. I got the bracket at the angle where I need it to be. I just put a tack weld on there. So now I've got to fabricate a piece of metal to go in between here for support. And then find a, I'll probably put a piece of metal in there just to fill that in. Final product right here. It's not the prettiest, but it'll work. All right, so we're gonna slide everything on. I'm gonna push it up here. Look at that. Now it's pointing where it needs to point. Transfer case bolts back on. I'm just gonna slowly tighten this because I don't know exactly where it needs to go. So get the fork on here. That's about where it needs to be. It's going to take some fine tuning, but we are really close to getting this near about perfect. Got the cable shifter installed and working. I lowered the Jeep down and went through all the gears. Felt nice. These cable shifters, they make a world of a difference. But if I had to do it again, or if, you know, you're putting a Rubicon transfer case into yours, I would just get the Novak kit for the Rubicon. And it comes with a different bracket that, you know, automatically shoots the cable up instead of down. They're, they're only like 180 bucks, but so if you're starting from scratch, I'd go there first. All right, so look what just came in the mail. So I called Adam's drive shafts and I told them what I was doing. And they asked what joints that I had on my current drive shafts. And I told them, you know, I'm running I am running 13 10s at the transfer case and they suggested that you know I get these these are just adapters they'll go right into the Rubicon transfer case and I can bolt up my existing drive shafts so I don't have to get new drive shafts right now which is pretty cool so I'm pretty excited about that because I did not want to get new drive shafts. I just got these built probably probably a year or something ago. All right, let's get these bad boys in. Now that I'm going with the CV style joint in the rear, I have to take the flange off of the Rubicon case. So I just have a standard gear puller and I'm going to slowly start trying to get this thing off. Oh yeah. Got it cleaned up. Let's see if it fits. Let's see if it focuses. Yeah. Oh yeah. Got the front yoke on. Just got to torque it down. 
and also have the rear one on. So what I'm going to do now is lower the Jeep down and measure my drive shafts and hopefully they'll bolt right on. I lowered the Jeep down and that's where I measured for my drive shafts and believe it or not they are exactly the same as they were when I took them out. So I guess the flange made it to where when I took it out and put the new one in it landed within a quarter of an inch of where I needed it to. So, and of course these drive shafts do have a little adjustment to them, but <clears throat> the front one was spot on. I got the drive shaft, I got one U-bolt strap holding it up top here, and now I'm going to get these straps on the rear of the 14 bolt. Hammer. Okay, so we got pretty much everything buttoned up. We got the transfer case in, we got the wiring done for the speedometer, got the vent tube hooked back up, and got the yokes on from Adam's drive shaft. Next thing is testing it out. Let's see if we can do that. So, we are behind my house, my little training facility here, and some rock piles and some little mud holes and stuff like that. So we're going to try out the Comanche just and see if we can tell the difference in that 4 to 1 ratio. So nice with the cable shifter. You don't have to fight anything, it just goes right in. guys that's gonna do it for this video i really appreciate y'all watching and if you have a comanche or a cherokee that you come across a rubicon transfer case and you you know get a good deal on one you know and you want to swap it in i hope this video helps because that four to one is definitely the best thing modification i believe i've ever done to this besides the rear four link but like I said, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching, and we will check you on the next one.